I think in the general public, when we hear about science, the image of a person in a lab coat with a, a beaker and some kind of flame operating is, is what most people think of. And we see that in cartoons growing up all the time. And that's, that's what I thought science was when I was first starting out. But what we do at NCAR here is more what we call applied research. And what we do is we start with the idea that there's a problem in society. And my specific problem is road weather. So our research is all about where the rubber meets the road, as they say, except that's literally what we're doing. And we're focused on coming up with ways to give drivers better weather information so that they don't stumble into fog banks or slide off the road because they didn't know that patch of ice was there. My work right now is focused quite a bit on this concept called connected vehicles. And it's really the genesis of, of the evolution of the car itself. It turns out that today vehicles are, are really smart. So as you're driving around, you may have temperature that's on your dashboard. But your car actually knows a lot more about what's going on around it. And if you think about it from a weather perspective, having cars report temperature would be clearly useful to us. But if you think about it a little bit more, things like whether the windshield wipers are on, or the anti-lock brake system, or even the headlights at a strange time, it's probably all telling us something about the local weather conditions. And our vehicles are monitoring all this stuff right now. And our challenge is, how can we use that in a way that, that's going to promote safety and mobility for, for the public? So uh, overall, across the US, on average, we have over 7,000 fatalities every year that we attribute to poor weather during bad driving conditions, and also over 600,000 injuries every year. And to give that a little bit of context, we hear a lot of information about tornado deaths and hurricanes and heat waves and lightning. And when you combine all of those together, on average in the US, it's just under 600 deaths per year. So the amount of fatalities we see in vehicles is more than 10 times all of the other weather condition fatalities combined. And when I first heard that, that was pretty eye-opening to me. One of the new and most interesting things we're working on right now we call Pike Alert. And it's the system that brings together all of these observations from vehicles. And we combine that with the more traditional weather information we get. So say things like radar and weather models. And then we combine them all together in, in really kind of a big data approach. And then on a mile by mile basis, updating every five minutes, we provide information and forecasts for things like how slick the road is going to be, what do we think the visibility of the road will be, and whether precipitation falling on the roadway will be some combination of ice, snow, or rain. I heard an interesting story a couple years ago of a giant snowstorm called Snowmageddon that happened in the Washington, D.C. area. And there were a lot of 911 calls where people needed ambulances to come out and rescue them for a variety of different kinds of situations. And the real problem was the ambulance drivers would get out on the road and the roads would be in terrible shape. They couldn't really get where they needed to go. And it's kind of a shame because the DOTs were out and they were plowing roads, but there was no way for the ambulance drivers to know which roads were in good shape in which we're in bad shape. And so with our technology, we'll be able to provide that information. And that's a situation where saving a minute or two minutes could mean the difference between life and death. So I think that's a, a pretty viable and important example. One of the more interesting things that, uh, that I found out when I started doing this kind of work is that while winter weather gets all the press about the dangers of driving, and it's obvious because the roads are slippery and the blizzards are happening and, and it looks interesting and bad on TV. But it turns out that the greatest risk for driving and accidents and fatalities related to weather is actually raining conditions. And I think this happens a lot, especially in the southwest part of the US, where it hasn't rained for a week or two and then a lot of little bits of oil and other debris build up on the roadway surface, it rains and that turns it into a very slippery surface, kind of like ice. But the big problem is it's maybe 70 degrees out, people aren't expecting the roads to be slick and so they're completely unprepared for it. 
and so it turns out that rain is actually a, a bigger cause of fatalities and accidents than snow.